have some big news. Are you ready? I'm speaking at an online conference. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to do a little debriefing, if you will, about the conference I spoke at. Most importantly, I want to share my experience sharing my story and some things I learned, some tips, um, just things that I picked up while going through the process of sharing my story in that way. I've never done something like that before and I feel like I learned a lot. <laughs> so here we go. The conference lasted four days. It was all online. My session was pre-recorded. So the first day, I just enjoyed the sessions for that day. I ended up getting up super early because the conference was on Eastern Standard Time. I am on Pacific Standard Time, so I'm three hours behind. my conference session went live. So day two of the conference and my session is about to go live. And then I am doing a live video in the Facebook group after. Um, so basically leaving enough time to have everybody watch the session that's gonna watch the session and then I will go live. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm nervous. I don't know why, it's not like I have to do a big speech or anything. I'm just going on to say hi and talk to everybody. But I don't know. Um, I'm also like super excited to see everybody's thoughts on my talk. I hope it helps people. So here we go. pre-recorded session went live on the website for the conference. I then did a Facebook live video talking about it, giving some extra tips, letting um, people that had attended the conference ask any questions they had or share their thoughts, things like that. And it was awesome. It was great. Um, I oddly was, like I mentioned, very nervous. Um, I've done more Facebook live videos than I can count on my hands and something about just circumstances and how new it was I was nervous and I don't know why <laughs> I've done it so many times but 
it was great. It was really great to hear people's thoughts. It was really great to be able to expand a little bit on what I shared in my session and gave some extra resources. Um, just of things that I found helpful. My session was on finding joy in infertility. So through that I shared my story of being diagnosed um, both with Turner syndrome and with premature ovarian failure and shared my journey of processing the emotions of infertility and looking at it through the lens of God's view of it um, what God says about it and the instances of infertility in the Bible. So day three and four were very much like day one. <laughs> it was watching and enjoying the sessions, keeping up with the schedule of it. Um, and yeah, I didn't have much else to do. Most of the days besides the one I was doing a Facebook live video for, I was in my pajamas watching because it happened so early on in the day for me. Um, and yeah, I just, it was a whirlwind experience, but it was really great hearing from all of the speakers. Um, there were some amazing speakers, um, ones that I have been following and love hearing from. Um, Felicia Masonheimer was there, Crystal Payne was there. So many amazing ones on top of Jamie Balme, who ran the conference, her sessions were incredible as well. Um, and there were so many, so, so, so many good ones. So it was a whirlwind, but it was an amazing experience and one that I so enjoyed um, on both sides of it, <laughs> being the audience of the other sessions and sharing my story. So now I wanna hop into a little bit of what I learned. I always encourage everybody, no matter what the topic is, to share your story. Through sharing mine, I have found so much blessing, so much value. I've been incredibly blessed through sharing my story. Sharing it this way was a very unique experience for me and one that I feel like while some of the tips I'm going to share may not apply to everybody or may not apply to every situation of sharing your story, I feel like a lot can be taken from it. The first thing I noticed is having notes on hand was really helpful. I am not a person that goes off of notes. Most of my videos, I don't go off of notes. <laughs> um, I'm. I'm one that certainly does not script my videos, but I also very rarely even go off notes. I probably could help myself stay on track and keep my thoughts from being so random if I did that. It's just not something I'm in the habit of. I can think of like barely a handful of videos I've ever used notes on, but for this particular instance, recording my video for the session it was extremely important for me to have notes and it was really, really helpful. Um, especially as you're recording something. I know I've learned from YouTube videos. You need to be able to come back to where you were, see where you were and what you were trying to record. If something happens and you need to pause, it's really helpful to keep things cohesive if you have notes you're following so that you know where to jump straight back in. Um, the other thing is because while you're recording, it's easy to forget stuff you researched before, especially when you're trying to keep to a certain time limit um, and to make editing easier, um, just to make a speech, even live, much more concise and tidy. Notes are so, so helpful. Um, it also helps you not forget things, like forgetting things you wanted to make sure you pointed out or say, or you know, you had a great thought, a great way of saying it before, and then you don't think of it in the moment. For stuff like that, notes is hugely important. You don't miss things you wanted to say, you don't miss important details of what you're trying to say and leave stuff out. 
um, it's just really helpful, <laughs> especially it being such a new experience. So my number two tip for sharing your story that I learned from this is you really want to mold the story as much as you can to that particular audience. I had to be really intentional with thinking of who I was speaking to in the context of this topic. Well, you don't want to narrow down or take out too much of the overall story. You also want to make what you're talking about understandable for that particular audience, relatable, and pertinent. You want it to be how is best deliverable for that audience and within the main topic or story really was. And then my number three tip, which is my last tip, is don't discount any part of your story. Now that may sound like a little bit of a contradiction to number two, but it's really important to consider in the preparation phase, when you are thinking through how to share your story, whether it's as you're sharing it or right before, no matter how long thinking through it you have, you want to remember to value every part of your story and not discount what parts of your story may be valuable for the person you're sharing it with. There's a lot that can be learned from everybody's story. There's a lot that can be learned from every experience and while a great focus within it, a good understanding of the overall story and tone and experience um, is also really important and just can leave it open for whatever may speak to that particular person or audience or whatever the situation may be. I believe everybody's story is valuable. I think everybody's experience is valuable and can be learned from. And I hope these tips really helped if you are thinking through how to share more of your story or stories, if you are interested in sharing more. Um, <laughs> this was an incredible experience and taught me so much about sharing my story. And I am very blessed to have gotten to do it. If you did not get a chance to attend the conference while it was live, you can still purchase the sessions. I will leave the link in the description box in case you would like to. Um, it was an incredible conference and I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyable. And if you did, give it a like, hit subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.